Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing an in-depth tutorial and review on this add-on that basically allows you to get cinematic shots of your Minecraft world. This is super awesome. This add-on is very command heavy so you seriously don't want to skip out on any parts of the videos if you actually want to learn how to use it. So this is actually an add-on and you can find the download to the add-on in the description down below guys. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's get started. But first, a word from our sponsor. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to boot up a Minecraft world just like so. And you want to make sure that cheats are actually activated and you also want to make sure that your Cinematron V1.2 is activated. This barely takes up any storage so you really should not have any troubles using it. Anyways guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in this command over here. Now I'm going to say it again, this add-on is very command heavy so you seriously don't want to skip out on any part of the video because if you skip out on something you might miss a very important command that you will be needing to use so anyways the first step is to type in this command slash give and then your username uh, my username is a brian's v 789yt so i'm just going to type that in just like so then we're going to type in command block just like so command and then underscore block and once you're done with that guys feel free to hit on a next and you should get a command block in your hand just like so so if you guys were ever curious on how to get command blocks well this is how you get command blocks so the next thing you want to do is you want to place down your command block in the ground it doesn't matter where it could be literally anywhere but i'm just going to place it over here because why not anyways all you want to do from now is simply press on the command block and then you should get this menu over here and then we're going to change the block type from impulse all the way to repeat so once you're done with that guys then make sure to go over here to where it says redstone and hit on always active then on the command input you want to type in this command right over here function function and then a cinematic control just like so so just make sure to pause the video to copy all the commands that i'm going to be using so this is the first command that we're going to be using by the way i'm doing a brief little tutorial on how to actually generate a cinematic sequence in case you guys were wondering so uh yeah basically the basic stuff you will need and basic concept you know of this add-on so anyways once you're done with that guys then you can exit out of the command block and you should see the command block turn up purple just like so and once you see this text over here successfully executed 122 function entries that is how you know that you got everything good so anyways guys once you're done with that we can finally head on to the next step and actually generate our sequence so anyways what you want to do is you want to type in a slash a function and then add just like so add and then underscore replay towards the area where you want to start your cinematic shot so we're going to do that just like so and then guys you'll notice that there is actually a armor stand and in this armor stand is basically the position of where your camera is going to be i know it's a little bit hard to explain but hopefully when i finish doing the sequence you guys will understand so if you actually hover over your item frame it should say camera pose and that is short for camera position but guys you will also need a focus point now in order to set up a focus point then just make sure to face anywhere that you know you want your camera to focus on and then type in a slash a function and then focus just like so focus underscore a point just like so so anyways what you want to do is simply type in this function and then once you're done with that guys feel free to hit on next and there you go guys you got your uh your target right over here basically your focus point it should say that guys and once you're done with that we can finally enter the juicy part of the tutorial so now that we got these two things set up we can now focus on where our camera is going to be so guys first thing you want to do is you first want to pick out where you want your scene to start 
start. So I think we're gonna start ours on the ground just like so. Then simply type in slash a function point one. And the way this works is basically every time we put a point in is actually where our camera is going to go in. So it's gonna go in order. So we're gonna have multiple points and first it's gonna go to point one, then point two, then point three, etc. all the way up to 20. So 20 is the maximum we can have. So anyways, let me just show you guys right now. So slash a function point one. So this is where our uh, cinematic scene will start. It will start over here. And then let's say for example, you want to make it go uh, above right over here. Then all you want to do is type in a slash a function and then a point two. Make sure that, you know, it's actually a chronological order, guys. You don't want to jump all the way to point a 20 by accident right after you did point one. So just make sure that you are doing it in the correct order. So here we are, we have function point two just like so. So there you go guys. So basically what it's gonna happen is it's gonna go from over here on our first armor stand that we placed down and then our camera is going to slowly go towards this armor stand. Next guys, we're gonna set up another uh, point that our camera is gonna go to. So I think we should do it right over here. And then what you wanna do guys is just type in it slash function. And then a point a three, we are up to point three. And I think we're only gonna make it a four points. We're not gonna make it too fancy. And then we're going to end it off by going over, maybe over here, yep. I feel like here would be a good place to end off the uh, cinematic sequence. So we're gonna type in a slash a function and then a space point four, just like so. So basically the way it works is that it's going to start where you put your first item frame, AKA a point to one. Then it's gonna go all the way to point to basically the second armor stand that you did place down. So it's gonna go over here and then it's going to go uh, towards uh, this house. And then last but not least, it will go all the way up here. And you have a uh, 20 of uh, these of uh, maximum. So I think that's a uh, very good in my opinion. Anyways, the next thing you wanna do is you actually want to set up how fast you want your sequence to go. So the way we actually set up a speed, we're gonna type in a slash of function just like so slash function speed and then we actually have a five levels of speed so one it being the slowest and five being the fastest uh because this is quite a long sequence i'm going to be doing a speed of three just so it doesn't take like forever so anyways what you want to do is you want to pick from the five once again one being the slowest and five being the fastest so i'm going to pick speed three just like so so anyways what you want to do is type in slash function and then speed whatever uh for me i'm going to pick speed three but you can pick whatever you want and simply just enter that in the chat believe it or not guys you are almost done with this toy the last thing you want to do guys is you actually want to type in slash a function and then you want to type in slash a start underscore a replay just like so so just make sure you type in a slash function start underscore replay and this will play the sequence that we just made so simply enter in this command in a chat just like so and believe it or not guys we have our cinematic scene right over here we are officially done and now i know there's a lot of text which may be a little annoying so the way to actually fix that is simply go under settings and go to your video settings and then simply hide your hand and hud and i recommend turning down your fov just to make things look far more better and voila guys we got a cinematic scene just like so it was super easy guys and it was all in mcpe no computer needed guys i feel like this was a pretty straightforward tutorial but if you guys do need a little bit more guidance then feel free to ask me some questions in the comment section down below so guys that is pretty much it for this video if i was going too fast at any point in this video then make sure to you know pause the video rewind it or simply ask me a question in the comment section down below keep in mind this is a add-on so you will have to download it from the description down below but it is super easy guys and i hope this tutorial was able to help you because this is just some basic information on how to use the add-on you can do way more with it i only covered the very basic so honestly you can do a lot with this add-on so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe see you later french fries